really liked iRobot's Roomba 880 that we tested a couple of years ago. So we were super psyched that the brand came out with its next version, the 980, especially because this model has a secret. It's Wi-Fi enabled, guys. That's something we haven't seen on any other Roomba in the past. I mean, Dyson introduced the 360i last year at IFA. Neato announced its own connected version at IFA this year. And then just a week after, boom, a Wi-Fi enabled Roomba. In addition to the Wi-Fi connectivity for Android and iOS users that lets you set schedules and start your device remotely on Wi-Fi or cellular networks, this model also has sensors and a camera for better tracking around a room. It also updated its battery, so it now has a lithium-ion battery designed to last longer and clean better overall. iRobot also gave its virtual wall barriers a major makeover. You know those giant clunky things that use massive batteries that no one would ever have sitting around in a drawer at home? They've totally overhauled them so they're slimmer but have the same functionality and they're controllable with double A batteries. So that's way, way simpler. So you'd think that all of these fancy new options would translate to better performance, but it didn't. It was so disappointing. It didn't even outperform iRobot's own $700 880. And this one costs $200 more. In fact, the only category where it actually outperformed the 880 was picking up pet hair, and the differences were pretty negligible, really something that falls within the margin of error during our testing. So while it's still really good and the app works very well, I'd hold off until we review the Dyson 360i and Nito's new BotVac Connected. For more, check out our full review on CNET.com. From the CNET Smart Home, I'm Megan Mullerton for CNET Appliances.